No idea. What's up, buddy geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about support.com ticket symbol SPRT. Um, this is becoming the newest meme stock in town. And so the last two days, Thursday and Friday, this stock has just skyrocketed, um, making a lot of people money. I traded it Thursday, traded it Friday, uh, and the stock is still sitting somewhere way above uh, the, the regular price of the stock. So that's why I wanted us to talk about it in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to support.com, guys, this is a stock that is becoming uh, one of uh, uh, Reddit meme stocks. So a lot of people on Reddit, on social media are talking about support.com. Uh, maybe in part because uh, support.com was really, really hated by Wall Street because about 67% of their shares were actually shorted. So you know how that usually works, right? Um, you see a stock that's shorted, heavily shorted, they go in there and push the price so that all the shorts will cover and in so doing will keep pushing the price of the stock up and make people a lot of money. And again, this was an insane one and it ran like crazy. So let's jump right here, take a look here. Um, again, this is support.com. It just for clarity, guys, there was no specific information or news that really pushed the price of this stock up. Nothing. Uh, again, if we remember, I think it was early this year, they, they announced that they were going to go uh, into a reverse merger with uh, Greenwich uh, Generation Holding, which is like the first uh, carbon neutral um, uh, Bitcoin ETF. So they said they were going to partner with them, but that didn't even move the price of the stock. So I don't think that that, I mean, and this is old news. So, and the fact that the stock is still popping now after that old news, I don't consider that news to be the catalyst that actually drove this. I think the major catalyst here is the fact that Wall Street was betting heavily against support.com uh, because 67% of uh, the, the float was actually shorted, which is crazy. So, Again, you know how Reddit and, and social media guys operate. Once they see a company like this, they'll jump on it, talk about it, everybody start buying, and then the shorts have to cover. So it's basically uh, the reason why, again, in my opinion, why I think support.com made the move. So if we jump here and just kind of take a look at the chart, uh, if we go back, I think this was um, a 26. If you can see here on the 26, uh, support.com open, at about 14, look at this, it was trading at somewhere around $14. Um, open, the market opened here, and this thing uh, took off a little bit, went to as high as, uh, you can see a 17. And then after hours, it just I went crazy, went to 23. If you can see here, went uh, all the way, um, or pre-market on uh, Friday, went to 32. And then, oh boy, look at this. Uh, went as high as 55 before the market even opened. And the market opens, it pulls back, and then squeeze again all the way to 59, almost $60 uh, for a high, which is insane. And then once you got to that point, look at re that retracement. It just like dropped all the way down to 25 for a low. And then now um, it's currently sitting somewhere at about 20, about 30 bucks. And again, this is absolutely way above this stock's trading price. If you see, we came from somewhere around 14 bucks to now sitting uh, all the way here at about uh, just under 30. So to me, this is still significant. So if a lot of people, I'm pretty sure, made a ton of money. And again, if you traded support.com, uh, let me know in the comment section what you what you, you thought about it. And um, you know, enjoy those gains because uh, I think we were due for something like this because we haven't had some of these uh, runs in a while. So it was really kind of nice to be able to get a trade where you don't really have to work hard to earn your money. This was pretty straightforward. Um, and yeah, so I made some good money off of this one. It, it was excellent. So again, I don't know what's going to happen next week. This thing might pull back down to where it belongs to that $14 uh, or even uh, around $10 price point. Or we can see another squeeze because we saw what happened with uh, GameStop and AMC. It, it, it didn't just take off and go continuously. It went in stages. 
stage one it has a high set a new high pull back consolidate and then take off again and go so we we'll see this here is set this high right here so let's see if this pre-market it goes up to about 55 pull back consolidate squeeze back up to almost 60 pull back and then now sitting somewhere right here at just 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 about 30 and again to me this could be consolidation so again we can get up monday morning and this thing might skyrocket again to set a new high so there's there's endless possibilities here but again this is one where you trade with caution uh because uh these meme stocks they come and they go so if you go in and buy the top thing is going to keep going up because imagine somebody bought somewhere around uh, 55 even right here and you see crumble you are gonna sit there right now and be in the hole you're gonna be in the red to the point where I'm pretty sure your account is gonna be like mad at you so uh, be careful with this when you go in take profit secure profit as much as possible and you stop losses so that I can kick you out this is a meme stock so it's not something you see you're buying long term this is a meme stock so if you get that profit uh, put a stop loss. So if it kicks you out, you you sit back and look for another opportunity as opposed to sitting there and hoping that's going to go back up. So better cut your losses early and then wait to buy the dip rather than sitting there and coming all the way down here and then hoping that it goes back up because that direction, nobody can guarantee it. So that's something I wanted to make sure that uh, we talk about again, support.com. It's becoming a meme stock. There's really no reason why the stock is moving. Again, I gave you guys my speculation that it's probably just because uh, Wall Street was betting against them with 67% of their float uh, was shorted. So, I mean, you know how that works. Reddit and, and you know, social media uh, and retail investors can jump on a stock like this and turn it into a cash cow for, for a lot of us. So that is pretty much what I wanted to cover in this video. So again, I'm going to be looking at this one next week to see what happens. I, I don't anticipate um, you know, buying this one holding long term. I, I'm just trading it because this stock belongs somewhere uh, between 10 and 15 bucks. So if you're not in that range, I'm not even thinking of buying long term because there's no catalyst that's driving this thing. So if you're buying anything uh, way up there, make sure that you have a really, really tight stop loss in case you, you know, it starts to really collapse. You can actually get out and give yourself an opportunity to get back in and then ride it. So make sure that you trade with caution. So that's what I wanted to talk about here. Uh, if you're new to the channel, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and your notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has the promotion where if you sign up and deposit $5, you get free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated. Yeah.